Hey guys, Jeff here with Corsair, and today I wanted to show you how to install the HG10 GPU cooling bracket onto a 900 series graphics card from NVIDIA. We've actually created two different brackets for the 900 series due to the different layout of the screws on each card. We've got the N980, which is compatible with the GTX 980, 980Ti, and the Titan X. And then we have the N970, which is compatible with the GTX 970, as well as the GTX 760. To get a full list of compatibility with our HG10 GPU cooling brackets, make sure to check out our website at Corsair.com. Today we'll be using the HG10 N970 cooling bracket here, and we will be attaching it to a GTX 970. So you can see that we've already removed the stock cooler, and we've covered in detail how to do just that in a previous video that had to do with the 700 series cards. You can find a link below in the description to get all that information. So essentially, we just remove the screws from the back of the PCB here, then you'll be able to access the blower fan port here, detach the fan, remove the cooler, and then just wipe off the thermal paste from the GPU. Once you've done that, you're ready to get the bracket installed. So we won't be needing our N980 bracket. We've got our N970 bracket here, which we just wanna make sure to remove the protective film. And then you'll see that this will very easily line up on our GPU. We can turn it over and we'll be able to screw it right in. So we're using all the hardware here that came with the HG10 GPU bracket. All the installation hardware that came with your uh, Hydro Series cooler should be used just for the CPU. So once you have the bracket installed, you want to just make sure you plug in your blower fan here. Once you have the fan plugged in, you just want to grab the standoffs which come with the GPU bracket kit here and screw those into the risers here. So at this point we have the bracket installed on the card and we're ready to get the cooler mounted to the bracket. So we'll actually be using a Hydro Series H60 uh, liquid cooler here which we've pulled from another system and we've already cleaned off the uh, previous thermal paste which was on there. So we're gonna have to reapply some thermal paste directly to the GPU and then we'll be able to get this thing mounted. So we just want to put a little dab in the middle there. So we've got the cooler attached. Next step is to install the card and then we'll get the radiator installed in the front of our case. So now we want to mount the radiator and we, the best spot to mount it in this case is right on the front here. But in order to do it with this particular case, we'll need to detach the fan from the front here and then remount it on the inside so that we can go through the chassis, through the fan, and right into the radiator. So we've removed the top fan here and we're going to install the new fan on the inside of the chassis. Using the mounting screws that come with the cooler, you can slide the screw through the case, through the fan, and then thread it directly into the radiator. And we're all set. So here you can see we've got the radiator and fan mounted here to the front of the chassis. We actually in this system had a Corsair Link Commander Mini mounted right on the top of the hard drive cage here. But with the, this installed there, we could not fit it. So we had to remove it and we're gonna actually remount it directly to the side of our radiator. So with that stuck into place, we just need to plug in the fan on the cooler and the pump from the, uh, from the new cooler and we'll be all set. And the last step here is just to make sure that you don't forget to plug in your PCIe cables to power your GPU. All right. All right, guys, we got everything fully installed. We're ready to power this up and see what happens. 
All right. So now that everything's powered up, we know it's working how it should be, and our GPU is going to immediately give you lower temperatures, higher performance, and much lower noise at the same time. If you'd like to get more information on our HG10 cooling brackets or any of our other products, make sure to check out Corsair.com. And if you'd like to stay up to date with the latest news and videos from Corsair, make sure to hit subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.